What is this? This might be an even bigger show, shit show. Oh. Oh, yeah. This guy is awesome. The, the fucking head of FIFA. This guy. Oof. My man. This guy is fucking bananas, dude. You, you rarely, you love to see it, first of all. I love watching like a cascading failure where, um, where a big homie went from like a, a pretty bad jump off point to begin with. And then, and then like every single new thing he said, every single new thing he said in the conversation while defending like FIFA and Qatar basically was worse than the previous one. Okay. So let's get started on that. Let's talk about FIFA. Okay. Let's talk about FIFA. Um, the FIFA president Gianni Infantino, okay, at the news conference in Qatar. Today I feel Qatari. Today I feel Arab. Today I feel African. Today I feel gay. Today I feel disabled. Today I feel a migrant worker. So when when I heard that, I was like, that that's crazy because like that's one of my favorite politicians. Like he's just reciting, you know, uh, Andrew Cuomo, right? Like that's. Like the, the classic, like, I'm gay. Where is it? Does anyone have that video? I'm trying to find it right now, but I can't. Where Andrew Cuomo is like, I'm Muslim, I'm gay. That Fauci clip? What? What is this? This video isn't available anymore. Bro, you're literally sending me. Oh, here it is. As a New Yorker, as a New Yorker, I am a Muslim. As a New Yorker, I am Jewish. As a New Yorker, I am black. I am gay. I am disabled. I am a woman seeking to control her health and her choices. I mean, he literally said that. That's what the FIFA guy said. So let's get started. Like it was so this this thread was so fucking insane that I had to look up Rob Harris. I was like, is this guy for like is this like a fake account? Cause I cannot comprehend a world in which like I cannot comprehend a world in which like you would you would have uh, a, a uh, you know, a, an international organization, like a head of an international organization, say some of the dumbest shit. Okay. And guess what? It's real. So he also follows it up by saying, I know what it feels like to be discriminated. I was bullied because I had red hair. He then follows up by saying, Europe can't give moral lessons to Qatar based on its actions over the past 1,000 years. Which, you know, is true, but like very clearly, uh, big deflection there. Big deflection energy. He says, there are 1 billion disabled people in the world and nobody cares. He is trying to suggest that there's hypocrisy and inconsistency when the world focuses on issues in Qatar rather than nations, other nations or groups of people discriminated against. On migrant workers in Qatar, the FIFA president is saying they earn more than they would at home. Gianni Infantino says Qatar is welcoming migrant workers, which shows Europe should allow more in to work. Okay. He says, FIFA is opening up its compensation legacy fund for anyone who wants to invest in it. Same people can sit on a board if they invest. Also establish a labor excellence hub in Qatar with a UN agency. He says, this legislation exists in many countries like for the workers. These are processes. What do you want to do? Stay home, hammer, and criticize how bad the Arabs and Muslims are because it is not allowed to be, pu because it is not allowed to be publicly gay? Of course I believe it should be allowed to be publicly gay. And he tells the media, don't criticize Qatar. 
He says, FIFA doesn't silence anyone in response to another question. In fairness, he did take a question for me and the other media who don't give him soft questions. Infantino on Iran says, are they all monsters? And suggests FIFA should stage a tournament in Iran. Okay, I'm on board. Which ironic because like Iran is seen as like enemy number one and the Iranian government is fucking brutal and awful. But it's like logistically speaking, yes, Iran unironically across the board has, you know, more of a fucking base of support and more logistics to be able to host such a thing. Unlike Qatar, which is like 10 people. Iran is massive. <laughs> so, I loved it, um, specifically because of the shouts out to the Andrew Cuomo thing. Because I know what it means to be discriminated. To be bullied. Bro, this dude really thought he popped off with the ginger thing, dude. I love that. As a foreigner in a foreign country, as a child at school, I was bullied because I had uh, red hair and I had these red, how do you call them? Uh, freckles. 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 Sorry? Freckles. Freckles. Yes, yeah, I don't even know the term. Today I feel uh, Qatari. Today I feel Arab. Today I feel African. Uh -huh. Today I feel uh, gay. Uh -huh. Bro, you should have let it. Oh my God. You should have just said, I've been bullied first for being ginger, red hair, then for being bald. <laughs> That's what he should have said. Now they bully for being bald. But of course, no matter what, I get a bullied for being Italiano. Everywhere I go, they say, Christopher Columbus. They say, it's a me, Mario. We do not all sound like a Mario. Is he Swiss? <laughs> I thought he was Italian. <laughs> Wait, is he actually... Wait, hold up. No, he's Italian, right? His last name is like... With a last name like that, no shot he's Swiss. Really? His name is Gianni Infantino. Yeah, he's Swiss, but from the Italian side of Switzerland. Okay, well, you know, he's more Italian than he's Swiss, okay? Bro, if your name is Gianni Infantino, I'm sorry. You're, you're more Italian than you're Italian Swiss, okay? <laughs> and then I get bullied. I say Italianos actually brought the meatball to Switzerland. <laughs> Even though it's technically supposed to be <laughs> Swedish. <laughs> and they got it from Turkey. I'm proving him right with my bigotry. You're right, dude. My man. Bro, don't name your children uh, Gianno Carbonara Pasta Spaghettio and then turn around and be like, oh, dude, he's actually not Italian. Get the fuck out of here. No, man. He's actually Italian, okay? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, they put a hole in my cheese. <laughs> Oh, but uh, worst of all, I get bullied at the top of the hour at the break. I say, why no free subscription for the Italianos? And he say, you gotta buy for that. You gotta buy. You gotta buy for five dollars, five lira. <laughs> I say, I don't have a five lira. I say, mamma mia, at the top of the hour is upon us. I would have fuck. DJ Kento, <laughs> thank you for the five gifted subs. Kin Marcus, thank you for the five gifted subs. Allowing ten people to no longer see the ass at the top of the hour. <laughs> I say, I'm going to go make a pasta. <laughs> it is the one minute at break now. Oh.
This bit went on for as long as bad as an SNL skit. Shut up. <laughs> Mama mia, I feel like a gay a migrant worker. <laughs> Today I feel disabled. Sushi kebab guy, thank you for the five get the subs. Today I feel uh, a migrant worker. Uh, today. <laughs> and uh, I feel this. I love this because, like, he thought he fucking was spitting here, okay? Not a single person checked you, dude. Really? You couldn't have fucking asked, like, one person, hey, do you think this is a good? <laughs> what if I say I'm gay and I'm a migrant worker? <laughs> And maybe people will clap. Will they clap too hard, you think? It's all this. Because what I've been uh, seeing and uh, what I've been told since I don't read, otherwise I will be depressed, I think. <laughs> Today, I cannot read. <laughs> anyway. That was a brief aside there. What is this? I felt gay. I don't know what this is. First off, I want to dedicate this award to the DOF brother as the best family on YouTube. Second off, this year I became one of the most hated YouTubers on the platform. That's maybe because I let Rice Gum punch me in the face or maybe because I came out and said 99% of the pranks on YouTube are fake. But I want to say this. For a long time, I looked at myself in the mirror and I based myself based on what I read on the comments. I felt worthless. I felt ugly. I felt gay. I felt that no, uh, that, like that just based on what they told me. You know, I felt worthless like a gay person. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. And hips are Wait, a little tighter. Is uh, Ludwig yeah, getting a haircut or what? It's the weather. That's what it is. 